Hey everybody, Mike from Urban Automotive, Oakville, Ontario, Canada, here today to talk about a uh, 4.3 liter V6 Chevy with a uh, what seems to be a more common issue. And here today to talk about it is our man Claire. Wow. <laughs> oh, Hi Claire, are you here? Are you here to talk about it? Oh, you're uh, checking I'm, all the parts. I'm, yeah, I'm bringing over the list. Is there a lot of parts for this? Yeah. Isn't I'm that exciting? Go so, nice. We're gonna start here. This is. One of the everybody drew drew everybody hi everybody um one of the pain in the butt to get out these uh are direct injection injectors this one here was really quite stuck quite bad in there um it looks like there may have been some leakage but some additional carbon and all that holding it in um unfortunately these things need to be pried out and new teflon seals fitted and refitted properly so you don't have any combustion leaking up through there which okay. by the signs of it, this one already had but what are we uh what are we talking about as we look at all the parts that are uh, uh, laying around and we got noise reduction and intake uh that kind of stuff mm. come over here and got a lot more we got parts down here for <laughs> nice eilers brackets water pumps this and looks then, like a real simple job. Yeah. Let's take a look. Oh. Yeah. So oh. basically what we have in here. So this thing was in here originally for an oil leak. And as you can tell, say if you look around the back there, you can already see the oil that's um, around the rim of that. That's not because excess oil spilled out. That was the constant oil leak. Um, what we have here on this piece is the... Uh, this is like a variable displacement thing um, where it'll shut down a few cylinders and that for fuel economy. I believe the technical term from GM is the cylinder deactification module. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> all pump supply manifold, whatever it is. Mm. Um, these ones here, these two here are pressurized. These were rock hard and they have no more elasticity to uh, hold oil. As you can see all the oil in that. This one here isn't even level at the back with the cover. So this um, is where the seeping was happening? Yeah, it's just blowing all out the rear. And how many kilometers on this gem? Uh, about 250. I thought it was 280. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, 280. Just broken in anyway. Yeah. Trying so we've got this this cogged wheel here. What is what is so the story with this? This, this is mainly more just a, like a tensioner slash idler. As you can see, this is made to move up and down. Mm -hmm. And over on this end here, there's the little spring, which is, uh, keeps the tension on the bottom of this idler. This is the balance shaft for a four cylinder. It doesn't have all eight cylinders, so you need a balance shaft to kind of even out the running and all that, so it's uh, idles nice and smooth. These are your main timing chains, cam, and your crank down here. This is the oil pump on the front here. Um, if you're changing the, the uh, main timing chains, you're pulling off the oil pump, dropping the oil pan for the pickup, and all kinds of goodness. It's very labor intensive. It is can be quite frustrating, especially with uh, a lot of miles, because uh, things get stuck and they're not uh, they're not fun to fight with. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So you're uh, you're enjoying this job? No. no. Okay. I do it because I have to. Parts are here. So what we're going to do instead of taking apart all of the timing chain assembly, uh, oil pump, because there are the two sets of chains and that other main chain there is what drives that oil pump and in order to get the oil pump off you have to drop the oil pan, oil pan. in order to drop the oil pan you have to drop the diff well drop it out of the way there's a cross member that comes out you may need to drop the diff down to get a little more clearance um yeah it's and good. you gotta drop the rack oh uh, that's what they say but i mean again you try to do the minimal amount that you can but either way because of the pickup tube runs under there it all depends what kind of clearance you get right so we're trying to work with the customer and uh deal with the issue save the uh time and money mm -hmm. on changing all this other stuff yeah. uh as i explained to him you're no worse uh, off if you uh if we put it back together as is and keep the other components there um, you just won't have the oil leak the oil leak will be gone so that's what we're going to address so this is the first part of the two part and the second part later on today later on today <laughs> <laughs> Which maybe, maybe tomorrow Possibly. likely tomorrow likely tomorrow yeah. we'll have her up and running and we'll uh, 
we'll show all the components that we replaced and what we did. Yep. All right. What do we say here at Urban? Safety first. Have a great day, everybody. Hey, everybody. Mike from Urban Automotive, Oakville, Ontario, Canada, here with part two of our fantastic job on this 4.3 liter. liter V6. I was going to say 4.6 liter. Yeah. That'd be incorrect. Everybody, Drew, Drew, everybody. Hey, what um, are we doing here with this? So these injectors, uh, they're direct injection. Most nice. of the vehicles nowadays are direct injection. These go right into the combustion chamber. Yes. They go direct in, but they also have these Teflon seals to them. Um, these are the ones I pulled off. The other ones. They and look brittle. Yeah, they're brittle. They're tight. Um, but these need to be replaced whenever injectors get removed. Um, these are the new ones here. As you get an assortment here. Mm -hmm. But it also requires a special tool because you need to um, slide them on. You basically need to stretch them over. So they it's not like a, they're not a pliable and malleable seal. They're hard. So they need to be stretched over this. And then these little arbors are tapered, larger size on here. And you basically put them on and you got to resize them to that. So they'll be basically the same bore as that and on nice and tight. Nice. Yeah. And we got this uh, injector seal kit from our friends at CarQuest for this unit. Yeah. I think we take a quick look at the engine compartment to see, show the new unit in place. So that's the new uh, unit there, the uh, was it? cylinder deactification module. Yeah. Or they call it also the oil valve the, the, lift the, pump. Yeah, no, the oil valve, valve lifter, lift. oil control. Uh, expensive. Manifold, yeah. Uh, layman's terms, expensive. And not cheap. this is the one injector rail already in. We need to still install the other one and finish reassembling. And, uh, yeah, we got the uh, timing cover back on and yeah. we're well underway of getting her purring. Next video will show the uh, actual unit running yep. without uh, any oil leaks. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> at least at least not where we've been. There's, there's <laughs> right there. That's, that's confidence. And what do we say at Urban Auto? Safety first. Thanks.